Okay, so this video is an update for those people from the other day who are having problems installing macOS Lion on VMware on Windows. And basically, um, because there was a problem with the ISO, well, there isn't a problem with the ISO, but there's a problem with your VMware um, configuration. And instead of messing about with VMware, um, because it's quite tricky, this is just a different way to install, which is pretty simple. It's just, it's pretty much the same process and the same way to do it as installing from the ISO. But what you need to do is download the uh, VMware files from the from the um, description, just like last time, and extract them. And then, as ever, you need to run the uh, VMware Unlocker. Let me just close my VMware workstation. Whoops. So to do that, just read the README text, which is there, and it explains how you need to do this. So you've got instructions for each different version of VMware and I'm just going to do the Windows version very quickly so open command window in that folder and just type windows.vat and it should run through very quickly um, if you get an error 5 message you need to disable user account control in the control panel and this works only if you've installed VMware to the default installation directory so that's something to be aware of so there you can see um, it runs through and unlocks your VMware for Mac and now I'm going to go to into Mac OS X Lion and open up the VMX file so there's actually no difference between these files and the last set of files that you downloaded except for a few notes at the bottom and if you go back to um, if I just go back here you can see that I have a VMDK file which is a virtual hard disk now I'm going to provide a link to download this in the description. It will be a torrent link, but I'd appreciate if someone could actually upload the VMDK file to some sort of file sharing site like um, Mega Upload or something. Um, because obviously, when I'm seeding the torrent, I can't upload elsewhere, otherwise, it just makes it ridiculously slow. So, that's if anyone could do that, that would be great, but it's not important really. So, what you want to then do is make sure you have the VMDK and make sure it is that size. So, you can just, if you can't see it, just zoom in and look at that size and make sure it's the same size. And I'll probably put um, checksums on the description or the download or something so you can check if necessary. But right, it should be about 4. Point, yeah, there you go, 4.12 gigabytes large. And then in VMware, you want to go to Edit Virtual Machine Settings, and you want to click Add, and then click Add Hard Disk, and choose an existing virtual disk, and press Next. And then you have to browse for the disk, and you want to choose the Lion installer VMDK, which you've downloaded, so there, and press open, and then press finish. So you should have the original hard disk attached, which is 40 gigabytes, although I'm going to change it so it's 100 gigabytes, so you can use 100 gigabytes. And you'll see that this is a 5 gigabyte hard drive. So now you want to press OK, and make sure that you've changed it to your, um, change the settings to whatever you want. So um, change memory, except um, be aware that you need 2 gigabytes of RAM to install, but after the installation you can change it to whatever you want. So it can go to um, 1024 as I recommend, and as VMware recommends actually. So there we go, and then press power on this virtual machine. And once you get this, just click I copied it, it's nothing to worry about. It's just because you've downloaded. Right, so... So now you'll get the uh, VMware loading up screen. And just ignore that message, it's because I haven't got a CD drive attached. Um, you can just attach a CD drive, just like drive D or drive C, no it won't be drive C, duh. or what, whatever your CD drive is, you can attach it, but mine's not attached, so that's why I got that message, don't worry about that. Right, so now we are booting up into the VMDK file that we attached, so this is the install of VMDK. Um, because there's no operating system on the first VMDK, um, it automatically skips to the one that we attached to boot from there, and that VMDK is actually a bootable VMDK, so therefore it will boot into the installer. So if we have a look here, this is basically the Mac installer, and it's basically what's on the ISO, but it's not an ISO. So it's just a little bit, I won't say better, but I'll say it, it's going to work for more people. So. I just need to, I think I need to um, format my hard drive, 
um, you probably want to do this anyway, so just go to the disk utility and wait for it to get the disk information and you want to erase the 40 gigabyte hard drive. So erase, and I'm going to call my Macintosh HD and erase. So wait for it to unmount. And obviously I'm not going to go through the full installation, um, but I can tell you that this one works properly. It's not like the other one where it's a bit hit and miss. And to prove it, um, there we go. So that's um, formatted. Just press continue and agree. Choose the disk to install to. There's a customized option here, but there's no options in it because it's just as it is. And then you want to click install. And you can see, unlike the ISO, as some of you have been complaining, you can see right there, time remaining, about however minutes, it's not hanging, it's actually installing. And if you want further proof, um, let's just go back to my line folder. You can see that if you look at the VMDK file here, um, the size is actually increasing as it installs. So there you go. It, it's actually working. It does work. And then you, what happens is afterwards you get the registration. Um, and you don't have to use an Apple ID for that, you can just continue instead of entering one. Um, because if you enter one and you haven't actually bought Lion, you'll get a message saying, oh, you can't install this because this Apple, this Apple ID isn't associated with Lion. So you don't want to sign up. And then you'll just boot into Lion and you want to go to software update and just update. And as soon as you're updated, um, I think there's just like a couple of iTunes updates or something like that. There you go. You're perfect, sorted. So this installation should work for everybody. Um, it's the same compatibility as the last one by the way, so AMD uses is a bit hit and miss, so just be sure about that before you try. Um, but another thing to mention is that it does take a while. It, ta it can take up to about 45 minutes, maybe an hour, so if you've given it less time than an hour, um, don't get worried. It's not that it's not working, it's just that it's taking its time. But on average I'd say it takes about half an hour, so there you go. Um, hopefully this is going to work for everybody. Um, I'm sorry about the problems with the last image, but I had actually changed something that I hadn't realized would affect. And it was very well pointed out by somebody on YouTube. So thank you to, I think it's, um, I can't remember his name, but thank you anyway. You know who you are if you tell me. And there you go. That's it sorted out. Download the links in the description. Um, see the torrent, please, if possible. Um, as I said, download uh, direct download links would be good. So mega upload only, um, because stuff like Rapid Share and File Sonic and stuff like that, they have the time limits between the downloads, which is just annoying. So if anybody can upload it to mega upload in like um, piece sizes of about a thousand, because I think that's maximum for free users, that would be great. So thank you. Um, good luck with this. If you have any problems, obviously let me know. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Sorry that this one took two days to fix. I think it took two days. I think it's something like that. But um, I actually did fix it this morning, the ISO. But it made it a bit unstable. So this is a different method. And there you go. Hopefully it'll work for you. Thanks for watching my video. And I'll see you in my next one. Cheers.